A medium capacity system MCS is a rail transport system with a capacity greater than light rail, but less than typical heavy rail rapid transit. It is also known as light metro or light rapid transit, since ridership determines the scale of a rapid transit system. Statistical modeling allows planners to size the rail system for the needs of the area. When the predicted ridership falls between the service requirements of a light rail and heavy rail or metro system, an MCS project is indicated. An MCS may also result when a rapid transit service fails to achieve the requisite ridership due to network inadequacies e.g. single tracking or changing demographics. In contrast with most light rail systems, an MCS usually runs on a fully grade separated exclusive right of way. In some cases, the distance between stations is much longer than typically found on heavy rail networks. An MCS may also be suitable for branch line connections to another mode of a heavy capacity transportation system, such as an airport or a main route of a metro network. Topic. Definition The definition of a medium capacity system varies due to its non-standardization. Inconsistencies in international definitions are even reflected within individual countries. For example, the Taiwan Ministry of Transportation and Communications states that each MCS system can board around 6,000 to 20,000 passengers per hour per direction P, H, D or PPHPD, while the Taiwan Department of Rapid Transit Systems TCG suggests an MCS has a capability of boarding around 20,000 to 30,000 per hour D, and a report from the World Bank places the capacity of an MCS at 15,000 to 30,000 per hour D. For comparison, ridership capacity of more than 30,000 per hour D has been quoted as the standard for metro or heavy rail standards rapid transit systems, while light rail systems have passenger capacity volumes of around 10,000 to 12,000 per hour D or 12,000 to 18,000 per hour D. Generally speaking, medium capacity systems have lower ridership capacity when compared to other heavy rail systems in the same area. However, passenger capacity volume is just one possible criterion used to define a medium capacity rail transit system. Another criterion that can be used to define a medium capacity rail system is vehicle type. For example, the train in an MCS may have a shorter configuration than the standard metro system, usually three, though, in some cases, just two to six trainkers, allowing for shorter platforms to be built and used. Rather than using steel wheels, rubber-tired metro technology, such as the VAL system used on the Taipei Metro, is sometimes recommended, due to its low running noise, as well as the ability to climb steeper grades and turn tighter curves, thus allowing more flexible alignments. Fully heavy rail or metro systems generally have train headways of 10 minutes or better during peak hours. Some systems that qualify as heavy rail, metro in every other way e.g. a fully grade separated, but which have network inadequacies e.g. a section of single track rail can only achieve lesser headways e.g. every 15 minutes which result in lower passenger volume capacities, and thus would be more accurately defined as light metro or medium capacity systems as a result. <laughs> Topic. Terminology. In addition to MCS, light metro is a common alternative in European countries, India, and South Korea. In some countries, however, light metro systems are conflated with light rail. In South Korea, light rail is used as the translation for the original Korean term, Gyeongjuncheol. Its literal translation is, light metro, but it actually means, any railway transit other than heavy rail, which has capacity between heavy rail and bus transit. For example, the U-Line in Yuajiongbu utilizes VAL system, a variant of medium capacity rail transport, and is therefore categorized light metro by LRTA and others, though the operator itself and South Korean sources refer to the U-Line as light rail. Busan Gimhai Light Rail Transit is also akin to a light metro in its appearance and features, thought the operator refers it as a light rail. Likewise, Malaysian officials and media commonly refer to the Kelana Jaya, Ampang and Srapetaling lines as Light rail transit systems. When originally opened, the original Malay abbreviations for the lines Putra LRT Project Usahesama Transit Ringan Automatic Automatic Light Transit Joint Venture Project and Star LRT System Transit Alaran Ringan Light Flow Transit System did not clearly distinguish between light rail and light rapid transit. Some articles in India also refer to some light metro type systems as light rail. The Light Rail Transit Association LRTA, a non-profit organization, also categorizes several public transport systems as light metro, 
As mentioned above, VAL vehicle automatic ledger systems are categorized in the medium capacity rail systems family because their manufacturer defines their passenger capacities as being up to 30,000 per hour. D. In Hong Kong, MTR's Ma on Shan line could, in some contexts, be classified as a MCS as it has used shorter four car SP1950 trains but can attain up to 32,000 per hour. D. Which is comparable to the passenger capacity of some full metro transit networks. This classification will not last for much longer as full-length, eight-car trains are being deployed on the line in advance of its merger with the West Rail Line to form the East-West Corridor by 2019. Two other lines, the Disneyland Resort Line shuttle service to Hong Kong Disneyland Resort since 2005 and the South Island Line since December 2016, are also built to MCS standards. Topic. Advantages and disadvantages The main reason to build a light metro instead of a regular metro is to reduce costs, mainly because this system employs shorter vehicles and shorter stations. Light metros may operate faster than heavy rail rapid transit systems due to shorter dwell times at stations, and the faster acceleration and deceleration of lighter trains. For example, express trains on the New York City subway are about as fast as the Vancouver Skytrain, but these express trains skip most stops on lines where they operate. Medium capacity systems have restricted growth capacities as ridership increases. For example, it is difficult to extend station platforms once a system is in operation, especially for underground railway systems, since this work must be done without interfering with traffic. Some railway systems, like Hong Kong and Wuhan, may make advanced provisions for longer platforms, for example, so that they will be able to accommodate trains with more, or longer cars, in the future. Taipei Metro, for example, constructed extra space for two extra cars in all its Wenhu Line stations. Topic. List of systems The following is the list of currently operating MCSs which are categorized as light metros by the Light Rail Transit Association LRTA, unless otherwise indicated. Topic. Former examples The following is the list of former MCSs that either developed into a full rapid transit system, or which are no longer in operation. Guangzhou, China Line 3 began with three-car configuration, changed to six-car in 2010. Komaki, Japan Peachliner, abandoned on 30 September 2006. Topic. See also <laughs> Notes <laughs>